Housing is expected to play a major role in the government's financial plan. And joining me now to talk more about it is CTV's Kamal Karamali. Good morning, Kamal. Housing is expected to yeah. be addressed in Tuesday's federal budget. What's been announced already? Yeah, so uh, we know the federal government has been going on what we've been calling this housing announcement blitz. One press conference after another, all teeing up uh, what may come down or what's expected to come down uh, during Tuesday's federal budget. We know uh, this time last year that housing was uh, heavily uh, or the lack of housing included in the federal budget was heavily criticized by opposition leaders and now we know that uh, really the liberals have taken that to heart and have uh, put that uh, front and center so one of the major things that we are uh, going to see is a 30-year amortization for first-time buyers mortgage on new homes that's set to come into effect August 1st the current rules were if your down payment is less Less than 20% on a new home, then the maximum length a home buyer has to repay that is 25 years. That will now jump up once again to 30 years. We've also heard uh, the feds launch a $1.5 billion, what they call a rental protection fund to allow them to preserve affordable rental prices across the country. And uh, also part of the 2024 federal budget, uh, a series of housing affordability loan program programs, rather, which includes a 50 Fifteen billion dollar uh, uh, budget to build more apartments as well. So a lot of money coming down the pipeline, Renee, towards housing as well. This comes as a new CIBC poll shows more than three quarters of Canadians uh, who don't have a property say the housing market feels out of reach to them, Renee. And uh, anything else, uh, any other tidbits expected for this budget, Kamal? Yeah, we're expecting to see an increase in the uh, amount that uh, first-time home buyers can take from their RRSP and put towards that down payment for a new home. So right now, as it sits, uh, you're allowed to put $35,000 or take out $35,000 uh, from uh, your RRSP, uh, and that would jump up now to $60,000 dollars to go towards a down payment on a house or condo. The federal government is also expected to allow all people, all people struggling to pay for their homes an extended repayment term of 35 years. I spoke earlier uh, in this chat with you, Renee, about a 30 year amortization for first time home buyers. This applies to all home buyers, a 35 year window now for this repayment term as well. Also, uh, hearing that they're expected to cut red tape to building more new homes, including reducing the cost of building new homes and making the construction more cost effective for builders, Renee. So what are critics saying? Will these measures address the issue? Yeah, so we've heard from uh, Pierre Polyevre talking specifically about this, uh, saying that, uh, uh, you know, this does uh, put housing front and center, but really isn't hitting some of the marks that the conservatives would like uh, to hit. Uh, he did go back on talking about abolishing the carbon tax and how this is straying away from that topic, but he really wants a more uh, uh, progressive conservative approach to uh, uh, housing and it, it, part of the criticism that we're hearing against the liberals is why you know these policies and these programs that are coming into place are only really focusing on helping first-time home buyers we know a lot of people across the country uh, who have already tied themselves to a mortgage repayment plan are also struggling so that's one of the criticisms that we're hearing from opposition leaders as well all right, CTV's Kamal Karamali reporting for us. Thanks for this, Kamal. You're welcome, Renee.